we still have plenty of daylight and the wind is a uh, four miles per hour coming from my back great weather I couldn't have expected better weather for the maiden of this t28 Trojan and it is very visible in this uh, gray weather so I'm looking forward to it so let's do this everything is set so it is on the low rates and also the 6g mode the stabilized mode let's see how it's going to do yeah that typical going forward kind of thing happened again like I let go and then it takes a while for it to stabilize and the turn radius is not that great in this in this mode so this is full turn but it definitely the rudder helps a lot so if I do coordinated turn with the rudder I mean it definitely turns better uh, it's a it's a good good quick flyer I mean don't expect to buy this and think that you can actually fly it right out of the box if you are a beginner it, it goes pretty quickly pretty fast I mean that's to be expected because it is kind of uh, heavier than the other T28 Trojan and that one was flying quick as well and the turns are really sharp and sudden so I'm going to try to turn with just the ailerons and I need to give a little up elevator as well as a little bit of uh, throttle increase and that was the most so this is the 6G mode I'm going to increase the rate okay it beeped twice so it is turning a little sharper now but if you want to turn quicker use the rudder as well and look how fast it turns and lose altitude I mean it just turns on a dime when you do coordinate the turns be careful not to stall it though and if I try to pull it up yeah, this is the most it goes so that 6G mode is keeping it inside a flight envelope meaning that this right stick is actually not the rate of turn or bang or pitch it is actually determining what angle it's going to bank or pitch so if you pull it all the way you know that that's the most it goes on the other hand if I switch let me give myself a little bit of room altitude if I switch by pressing this button to the this is the 3d mode now I'm controlling most of it at least so let's do oh okay I just uh, pressed and because I got disoriented I was trying to do a hammerhead and it didn't want to do it and it kind of like got me disoriented because it is all yellow I didn't know it was uh, the bottom or top of the plane <laughs> so okay let's do it again I know it's all yes now you can do all these kind of uh, shenanigans and and let's put it back and it goes back to stabilize mode which is restricting the pitch and bank angle as well I don't know if it's restricting the rudder but definitely the, the pitch and bank okay now I'm getting a little more comfortable with it I'm going to try to bring it a little closer and do some low passes low and slow I don't know how slow it gets and very soon I'm also going to test its glide characteristics usually these don't glide well here we go and I'm about half throttle just be careful with the turn especially if you are using the rudder because these uh, controllers are not very very precise there is some dead zone at the center of both sticks so you pull 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 nothing happens and then beyond and then suddenly something happens but very abruptly and my next project at least one of my next project is going to be to bind this to my radio master tx16s as well as uh, the jumper t light those are open tx transmitters that I love and they are hobby grade they are made of hobby grade components especially the radio master tx16s it has whole effect gimbals 
Those are not potentiometers or pots. They are basically measuring the, the angle or the deflection of your sticks using magnetic fields. So there's nothing touching, so it's very precise, very smooth. So far so good. And let's see how long the battery lasts. But before that, I'm going to gain some altitude and put it on zero throttle. Pull the throttle down and let's see. Okay, throttle down. It still has control, good control. But it's coming down pretty quickly. Okay, back on throttle because there's a possibility of stalling it. Okay, let's go up again and then I'm going to try to stall it in 6G mode, the stabilized mode. So, okay, I cut down the power and I'm pulling, pulling, pulling and this is, this is most it gets. It's still turning, it's still being stabilized. It's just coming down. So, although you pull the elevator all the way up like, like this, so it's, it's mushing down and it is still controlling the stability. And let's put it on the 3D mode. So this is non-restricted. Okay. Is gliding? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I just gave the throttle back up. Oh, okay. I just put it back to stability because that turn was a little iffy. So this is an excellent park flyer, excellent park flyer. But you need a larger, larger park than normal. <laughs> this is a big park we have here. I'm blessed with our park, and there is no games going right now. It is just the Sunday after the April vacation week, and so no games today. So I have the almost the whole park to myself and can bring you this review, this maiden flight of the T-Trojan. Before I deplete the battery, I would like to land it and I would like to attempt a rolling takeoff. I don't know, those wheels, they don't look that good, but we'll see. Let's see if I can do like a hand landing, how stable it is. It's coming really fast. Oh wow, that was a fast catch. But I didn't want to land it on grass on these tiny little foam wheels. But what I'm going to do now is, let's take it down on my little runway. The battery is going low probably. Hopefully it will have enough juice to take off. And, but first things first, I'm going to test if it rolls actually straight. The, the front wheel doesn't look that good. Oh, well, I think I may be able to keep it. <laughs> hey buddy, <laughs> dogs always like these airplanes and I may be able to keep it straight with the rudder. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of up elevator. Easy peasy. Very easy takeoff within a couple of feet. That was amazing. And I told you that I love Trojans. I have all different sizes. And I'm planning to get more. You know, one of my first four channel airplanes that I flew when I was learning to fly electric RC, uh, electric RC airplanes was a T-28 Trojan from Park Zone. Park Zone was a brand of Horizon Hobby. It doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. I love all Park Zone airplanes. It was a I think EPP or, or I think EP, EPO foam. It is a wonderful fly. I still have it. I bought it used. Didn't really break it, so it is still in good condition. I even got a used one, a gray one, for my older son, Bora. He only flew it a couple times then. He fell out of the hobby. But maybe my younger son, Kaya, may pick up. He's already flying these uh, smaller airplanes, four channel airplanes from Ishin Volantex RC. And 
This is going really good. Still have plenty of juice. I may have to do a little bit of trimming because when I let go, it likes to turn right. Maybe not anymore. Maybe that was because of the wind. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe the wind was pushing it one way. Okay, let me bring it down. So I cut down the throttle. It's gliding. Yeah, it is turning kind of right. I have to check the, the surfaces when they are centered. See, if I let go, yeah, it's going to the left, not the right. I'm sorry, to the left. Let's see if it's going to go to the left again. Yeah, it's kind of banked to the left. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of the left trim. And I'm really impressed with the flight characteristics of this. It's better than, I think it's slightly better than the P-40 Warhawk that I reviewed just before the winter. Again, the WL Toys or XK or XKS, they need to get their uh, naming convention or the branding <laughs> in one piece. You know, I don't know why they call so many things. This is uh, sold as WL Toys in some stores and XK or XKS on other stores. Uh, it's like selling a Toyota and Lexus uh, with two badges. Anyway, uh, I think this is flying a little gentler than that P40, that was A220. And by the way, if you like these mini warbirds and small four channel airplanes from Ishin, Volantex, RC, WL Toys, XK, there is another one, another review coming. I already have the plane, I'm not going to give it away, but it is a fun little plane from WL Toys, another of these A series, A200 series. So that's coming as well, so stay tuned. Wow, this little 400 milliamp hour one cell battery is just giving a lot of flight time, although this is heavier than my Ishin T28 Trojan. This was a little over 70 grams. Very efficient flyer, I mean, after the Second World War, this, these were, I think, being used as trainers. So T in the T-28 comes from that trainer. Okay, again, turning to the left. Maybe it's, it's just the wind. Maybe not. I'm not sure. It may be having some drift. Okay, I'm going to set it to 3D mode against my good judgment. So you have to be very careful with the sticks and on top of the sticks all the time. No sudden movements. Let's see if I can do it like hammerhead this time. Yeah, I was able to do it. And just a loop to loop. Oh, okay, back to stability. I just pressed the stability button. <laughs> After that loop, it just lost me for a split second. And it was too close to the ground for comfort. Alright, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I think you are getting bored by this time. It still has good power. See, it's just climbing right now. Holy cow, this flies a long time. And I have a second battery from my P-40 Warhawk. It's sibling, the A220 in my pocket, they're all charged up, so after this video I'll be flying it again. I cannot get enough of the T28 Trojans, so beautiful, especially in yellow color. The only problem with this one is the orientation, because the both bottom and top are all yellow, so if you are doing aerobatics with this, you know, make it sure that it's close to you and you can follow the orientation. Maybe like a checkered uh, white and black would have been nice. Or another color maybe, like some red on the red and yellow checkered on the bottom would have made it so much easier. But then, of course, it wouldn't be as nice looking as this one, just yellow and black. I'm just wondering when the battery is going to go dead. It just keeps flying.
I mean, I'm not full throttling it, but still, this is pretty impressive. I mean, 50% throttle or more, most of the time. There's a couple times I did the gliding, but still. Oh, look, I just uh, overdid the <laughs> rudder coordinated turn, and then its reaction was like suddenly putting the nose down very abruptly. So be careful with the rudder. I think, do you see, uh, like when I do the rudder? At the center, it does. It has a dead zone, and then like you rotate, 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 and suddenly it just turns. So I think this is going to perform even better with a hobby-grade transmitter. Again, uh, my Radio Master TX16S or Jumper T Lite, they will be fantastic with this plane. Probably Jumper T Lite because it's a smaller hobby-grade uh, transmitter, not as bulky, and I can carry it in my bag with these little airplanes. It still has plenty of power. I'm amazed that it is actually flying so good, so long. And with the help of the rudder, I mean, it can turn on a dime. Yeah, I mean, you have to be just careful to where that rudder kicks in. I mean, look, it kicks in so, so quickly and then, of course, you'll get into a spiral, but it is keeping, the stability system is keeping it from going a, into a full spin. Okay, I'm uh, gliding now, pretty stable. Yeah, so the stability also is giving an up elevator. When you increase the throttle, you can see the nose going up. So I cut down the prowl and then you give throttle and then suddenly it's just climbing. I think it's a safety feature as well. So that if somebody's like close to the ground and then, oh, it's going to crash, panic and full throttle and it will just, it will be climbing. All right, I think I'm boring you to that, but I really want to see the flight time on this. So I will add up the flight of the first flight and then after the rolling takeoff and then display it once I land it. Yeah, this definitely needs coordinate turns. Look, if I'm just doing some aileron turns, it looks like I'm, it's doing like knife edge or something. It's kind of... Uh, the outside wing is uh, a little looking up and then if you do the coordinated turn then it's more, <laughs> it's like very sudden but it is more straight instead of like flying sideways, a little crooked. Alright, <laughs> it just keeps flying folks, really. Maybe because it's a new battery, I'm not sure, but that 400 milliamp hour battery, I wasn't expecting such a long flight time. What else can I say about this? Okay, I think we are, the battery is getting a little lower. I have to give a little more throttle during the turns. Do you see that that sudden move was due to that rudder? So I'm like pushing the rudder and then at one point it it applies it. <laughs> like nothing, nothing, nothing until I push maybe 20-25% of the the travel of the stick and then suddenly it makes that 25% so like uh, hitting a hobby grade transmitter from 0 to 25% very quickly. So that's the reason you are seeing that a, a little bit of a jerkiness. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm guessing that it's going to fly smoother with the, with my hobby grade transmitters. Okay, I think I'm going to land because this is a full throttle. So let me turn it around and come back so I don't completely kill the battery. Because it's not good actually discharging it below like 30, 25-30%. Okay, here we go folks, 
I think my other uh, camera may have turned off. Yeah, it looks like out of battery. But here it is. WL Toys or XK A210 T28 Trojan. One wow, fantastic little park flyer. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the transmitter is uh, yeah, toy grade, uh, maybe transition grade, but definitely not hobby grade. You know, it's there are dead zones. See, nothing, nothing, and then it starts like moving. Let me show. Try to show you here. I there's nothing, no movement here on the elevator, and now it's moving. And probably it's the rudder as well, like this. Moving, no rudder movement, and suddenly it starts moving. So I'm moving, 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 and then now it's moving. So there is no feeling here. Nothing here to move. Anyway, it was a very good flight. As I mentioned, I'm going to do side-by-side -side review of this one with the E-Sheen T28 from Mini Warbird. And hopefully it will be a good flight. I may uh, ask my younger son to help me out so we can stay in the air together. Please leave me comments. If you like this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. You won't be sorry. Stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you on next video. Bye-bye.